Cause I'm bout it If you bout it yeah. Don't act like you are doing a favor But honestly, I swear you're my savior Girl, and I don't know if I'll see you later So I'm bout it If you bout it Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you this simple easy, affordable drugstore makeup look. But here I am just taking my ice cube and rubbing this over my face. I've been doing this for a while because right after you wash your face, your pores are all open and huge and vulnerable, I guess. So anything can get into them. So to seal them and get them closed so that they won't get clogged as fast, um, I'm brushing to the skin. So here I'm just taking my petroleum jelly. I'm just taking a little bit and rubbing this all over my face. I have fairly oily skin, but it can get dry at some times because I have eczema. So I like to use something kind of thick. But I'm rubbing this all over my face, all over my lips to stay moisturized. Now I'm taking my foundation. This is my L'Oreal True Match Foundation Healthy Luminous Makeup. Um, this is in the color Nut Brown or Cocoa. Uh, it's a very light, affordable uh, foundation. So there I just did my eyebrows. And now I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's a high definition concealer in the color number. In the color number? What? In the shade coffee and I know you've probably heard people rave about this for so long this is the perfect concealer to get when you're starting off because it's great quality and it's very very affordable so yeah you can pick this up at your local beauty supply store and you know the price varies between like I've seen like two dollars and then some have been like five dollars I get mine for about two ninety nine I'm putting this under my eyes down my nose on my forehead a little bit and, and then on my chin. I meant to say like just right under where I contour. It's light enough so I just took a little bit of my Santee 2-in-1 concealer. You can get this off of shopmissa.com. I'm showing you this LA Girl Pro powder. This is the high definition uh, banana yellow powder. This is their version of a banana powder. It's not as good. I wore this makeup look out and over time, my makeup did get a little oily. Here I'm just going ahead and contouring my face a little bit. And I'm taking my Nykaa K Contour Duo Palette. Um, and I'm taking the darker shade. This palette doesn't really have a name to it. But here is a number on the back that I'll read to you. And maybe you can find it that way. It is NDO. Zero nine. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. And this to prime my lids. I put this all over my lids and then I'm taking that same powder that I'm using to bake and putting that on my lids. Now I'm taking that lighter shade of the Nykaa K palette and putting that into my crease using this blending or defined eye brush shari by elf i broke mine so i just taped it back up together i couldn't throw it away because i loved it so so much elf products anything great drugstore line to hop onto when you're starting your makeup and you want to find something really um, inexpensive this eyeshadow pigment that I got from a like little vendor cart at my mall so I don't know exactly where you can get it but I'll look it up and see if I can link it down below it's great a great pigment I'm just packing on some more on my lid just right in the middle this is just a cute simple like looking halo eye I'm also dragging this on my lower lash line um, just to try something a little different and putting it in my inner corner. Again, I'm holding up my hand just so that you can see the color a little bit better because when I take my hand down, it's 
I'm crazy washed out. But now I'm just taking my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the Colossal Spider Effect by Maybelline. It is amazing and super inexpensive. I got just dusting off that powder um, with this synthetic brush that I wouldn't really suggest for you to use. I just wanted to show it to you if you're like beginner and you just need something for the moment. Um, it came in like a set, but it's not the softest and it sheds a lot. I'm just deepening up my contour now since I'm Now I'm going into the eyeshadow palette, the Santee eyeshadow palette that I also got from Shop Miss A. It's using that color on the end because it's like the perfect little highlight color. I'm taking that down the bridge of my nose on my cheeks and um, over my cupid's bow. Throwing on a little blush as well, as you can see. Now, I'm just throwing on just a tiny bit of blush on my cheeks just to add a little color. I don't know why I like to stop and pose and dance around in this video. It's crazy. Now I'm just going ahead and lining my lips with this lip liner that I got a while ago so I don't know where it's from, what the brand is because everything got rubbed off but it's just like this nice deep plummy purple color and it reminds me of Quartz K the lip liner by Kylie Cosmetics. Now I'm just taking this lipstick that I got from my beauty supply store. Um, it's very soft and moisturizing. I wasn't expecting it at all. It's just like it glides on my lips. It's almost like a gloss, but it's not, if that makes any sense. And it just feels so smooth and hydrating on my lips. But that's pretty much it for the video. I just decided to stop and pose all weird like makeup gurus do. I'm not saying that I am. I'm trying to get there. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see more makeup tutorials in the future. I have a Valentine's Day look coming pretty soon. I know I've been MIA, but I'm coming back on the grid. And yeah, so I love you guys so, so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.